Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got the system of equations 27 power x equals to 343 power y equals to 1331 power z equals to 231. And now we are going to find the value of this 123 xyz divided by xy plus yz plus zx. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this uh, 27 power x uh, and uh, 231. Let's go ahead and equate them. And here I have equated them. And now let's focus on this 343 power y and this uh, 231. Let's go ahead and uh, equate them as well. And here I have equated them as well. And finally, we are going to equate this one and this one now. And here they are. And now let's go ahead and manipulate these equations. Let's focus on this very first one. I am going to take a power 1 over x on this part. And I'm going to take power 1 over x on this side as well. And then we can see this 1 over x and x they cancel each other out. So we ended up with the 27 equals to 231 power 1 over x. Likewise, we're going to take power 1 over y on this side and power 1 over y on this side as well. And here we can see 1 over y and y cancel out. So we got 343 equals to 231 power 1 over y. And finally we are going to take power 1 over z on this side and 1 over z on this side as well. And here we can see 1 over z and z they are gone. So we ended up with 1331 equals to 231 power 1 over z. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and multiply out all these three equations. So let's multiply the left hand side first. 27 times 343 times 1331 equals to, let's multiply the right hand side, 231 power 1 over x times 231 power 1 over y times 231 power 1 over z. Now we can see that this 27 could be written as 3 power 3. So therefore I can write 3 power 3 times this 343 could be written as 7 power 3. And likewise times 1331 could be written as 11 power 3 equals to and now let's recall this product rule according to this rule since we have the same bases as you can see. So we can add up their exponents. So the right hand side could be written as 231 power 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z. Now on the left hand side since we have the same exponents we can just put it like this thing 3 times 7 times 11 whole power 3 equals to now let's focus on this whole exponent on the right hand side i have just copied it down over here now let's go ahead and make our least common denominator as x y z over here for that purpose i'm going to multiply this first fraction y times z on the top and y z at the bottom likewise on this second fraction i'm going to multiply by x z on the top and xz on the bottom and finally on this last fraction I'm going to multiply on the top and bottom by 
x y so if we multiply y z times 1 so this is going to become y z divided by this is going to give us if we multiply these together so that's going to give us x y z plus so therefore this fraction could be written as now x y z as a common denominator so i can write this one x y this one first and then i'm going to write down y z over here and then plus z x over here so therefore this whole exponent could be written as like this fraction so therefore the right hand side could be written as 231 whole power i'm going to write down this one so this is going to be x y plus y z plus z x divided by x y z at the denominator now we can see 3 times 7 times 11 equals to 231. So therefore we can write on the left hand side 231 power 3 equals to the right hand side is going to be same. And now we can see that our bases are same on both sides. So therefore we can equate our exponents as well. So therefore we can write 3 equals to x y plus y z plus z x divided by x y z and here i have put this uh, equation the other way around now let me go ahead and make a fraction on the right hand side by just putting one underneath now let's go ahead and invert both sides of these fractions or in other words we are going to flip them over so the left hand side is going to become x y z divided by this is going to become x y plus y z plus z x and on the right hand side this is going to become 1 over 3. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 123 on this side and 123 on this side as well. So our left hand side is going to become 123xyz divided by xy plus yz plus zx equals to on the right hand side this 3 goes into 123 41 times so therefore this is equal to 41 and this is the one that we were looking at over here so thus our answer to this problem has turned out to be 41 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye